Got it? Yes. Okay. All right, we'll call this today Fear on Every Side. And we'll start reading in Psalm chapter 27, verse 1. It says, The Lord, the Lord is the Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the strength of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? Well, this is something that we must know from the depths of our heart. That the Lord is our light and our salvation. And that he is the strength of our life. Because now the fear of evil exists on every side of us. And for God to be able to perform his finishing work in the earth. We must learn to not fear the devil nor what he can do to us. Matthew 10, 27, what I tell you in darkness, that speak in the light, and what you hear in the ear, that preach upon the housetops. And fear not them which kill the body, but are not able to kill the soul, but rather fear him which is able to destroy both soul and body in hell. Y no temáis a los que matan el cuerpo, mas el alma no puede matar. Temed más bien a aquel que puede destruir el alma y el cuerpo en el infierno. So it is imperative that we learn to fear God only. Así que es algo imperativo que nosotros aprendamos a cómo únicamente temer de Dios. There is to be no fear of the devil. No debe de haber miedo al diablo. Nor of what he can do to us through man and men's systems. Y tampoco miedo de lo que él pueda hacernos o hacernos a través de un sistema de hombres. He will be with us if we resist the fear of evil. Él va a estar con nosotros, Dios va a estar con nosotros si nosotros resistimos el temor a la maldad. Now if a person has made mistakes. Si una persona ha cometido errores. Repent. Get your heart right with the Lord. And then start your confession, I have faith in God. And trust in the Lord. Resist the devil and his fear. And all will be well. Psalm 27, 2, when the wicked, even mine enemies and my foes, came upon me to eat up my flesh, they stumbled and fell. Though a host should encamp against me, my heart shall not fear. Though war should rise up against me, in this will I be confident. Well, just think about that. What would you do if an army of your enemies surrounded you on every side? Like it did Elisha back in Old Testament times. Como Elías en el Antiguo Testamento. When the armies of the Syrians surrounded him. Cuando los ejércitos de los sirios lo, lo rodearon. But because Elisha had faith in God. Pero porque Elías tenía fe de Dios. The armies of the Lord and his chariots surrounded him to protect him. El ejército del Señor y sus eh, 
And an entire army could not touch him. Well, even though people may not realize it, as we walk in the earth, in the light of God's word, our enemies are surrounding us on every side. And the longer this goes on and the more we grow in the Lord, the stronger their wrath will be directed unjustly against us. And we have to be ready to face this. And not only that, but there will also be great natural events happening. Things that will cause man's heart to fail them because of fear. Luke 21, 25, and there should be signs in the sun and in the moon and in the stars. And upon the earth, distress of nations with perplexity, the sea and the waves roaring. Lucas 21, 25, entonces habrá señales en el sol, en la luna y en las estrellas y en la tierra. Angustia de las gentes confundidas a causa del bramido del mar y de las olas. Men's hearts failing them for fear and for looking after those things which are coming on the earth. For the powers of heaven shall be shaken. Desfalleciendo los hombres por el temor y la expectación de las cosas que sobrevendrán en la tierra, porque las potencias de los cielos serán conmovidas. So if we allow the fear of evil to come upon us, we will not be able to stand. But if we have faith in God and put our trust in the Lord, we'll come to the point where we have no fear. So we need to put our trust in the Lord and learn that God is with us and he will never fail us nor forsake us. Verse 4, one thing have I desired of the Lord, that will I seek after, that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life to behold the beauty of the Lord and to inquire in his temple. Salmo 27, 4. Una cosa he demandado a Jehová es a buscar en que esté yo en la casa de Jehová todos los días de mi vida para contemplar la hermosura de Jehová y para inquirir en su templo. So if our focus is truly on knowing the Lord, Así que si nuestro, nuestro enfoque está totalmente puesto en conocer al Señor and on seeking his face, y en constantemente buscar su rostro, then we will come to the point entonces llegaremos al punto where fear will not register in our lives. We, it will not, we will not comprehend it. En donde el miedo será algo que no podemos comprender. Why? ¿Y por qué? Because our trust will be so strong in the Lord. Psalm 27, 5, For in the time of trouble he shall hide me in his pavilion. In the secret of his tabernacle shall he hide me. He shall set me up upon a rock. And now shall my head be lifted up above mine enemies, round about me. Therefore will I offer in his tabernacle sacrifices of joy. I will sing, yea, I will sing praises unto the Lord. Salmo 27, 6. Luego levantará mi cabeza sobre mis enemigos que me rodean, y yo sacrificaré en su tabernáculo sacrificios de júbilo, cantaré y entonaré alabanzas a Jehová. And as we are going through these times, este tiempo, we are to sing praises to the Lord. 
Podemos cantar canciones, alabanzas al Señor. Because through those praises we are encouraged. Porque a través de estas adoraciones somos alentados. To continue our good fight of faith. A continuar esta buena batalla de la fe. So that we can lay hold on eternal life. Para que podamos hacernos de la vida eterna. But at the end when our work on earth is completed. Y al final cuando nuestra obra, nuestro trabajo en la tierra sea completado. We will be so full of joy and thankfulness to the Lord. Estaremos tan llenos de gozo y de agradecimiento al Señor. For showing us through all the darkness that will be upon the earth. Por mostrarnos eh, el camino a través de toda la oscuridad que hay en la tierra. That the praises from our lips towards the Lord. Para que nuestras adoraciones hacia el Señor. Will never end throughout eternity. No terminen por la eternidad. Psalm 31, 13, For I have heard the slander of many. Fear was on every side. While they took counsel together against me, they devised to take away my life. Salmo 31, 13, Porque oigo la calumnia de muchos. El miedo me asalta por todas partes, mientras consultan juntos contra mí en idea quitarme la vida. Jeremiah 6, 25, Go not forth into the field nor walk by the way, for the sword of the enemy and fear is on every side. No, dice Jeremías 6.25 No salgas al campo ni andes por el camino porque espada del enemigo y temor hay por todas partes. Jeremiah 20.10 For I heard the defaming of many, fear on every side. Report, say they, and we will report it. All my familiars watched for my halting, saying, Peradventure he will be enticed, and we shall prevail against him, and we shall take our revenge on him. Jeremías 20, 10, porque oí la murmuración de muchos, temor de todas partes, denunciad, denunciémosle. Todos mis amigos miraban si claudicaría, quizás se engañará, decían, y prevaleceremos contra él, y tomaremos de él nuestra venganza. Jeremiah 49, 29, their tents and their flocks shall they take away. They shall take to themselves their curtains and all their vessels and their camels, and they shall cry unto them, Fear is on every side. Jeremías 49, 29, sus tiendas y sus ganados tomarán sus cortinas y todos sus utensilios, y sus camellos tomarán para sí, y clamarán contra ellos miedo alrededor. So this is what we are faced with every day. Así que esto lo confrontamos todos los días. Fear is all around. El miedo está alrededor de nosotros. And there has never been a people y nunca ha habido una, una generación that have had to face the things that we will have to face in these last days. Que haya tenido que enfrentar lo que nosotros tenemos que enfrentar en estos últimos tiempos. But thank God through Jesus Christ pero gracias a Dios por Jesucristo. That we have through the Holy Ghost. Que nosotros tenemos a través del, del Espíritu Santo. Been given strength to face these things. La fuerza para enfrentar estas cosas. Right now there is so much fear of evil in the hearts of men. Ahora hay tanto miedo de, de que algo malo pase en los corazones de las personas. That they will do many strange things as a reaction to that fear. Que las personas comenzarán a hacer cosas extrañas en reacción al miedo que tienen. Lashing or striking out in some way. Or to what? To do? Uh, striking out towards somebody just... What's the word? What do you have? Striking. Um, coming against. Coming against other people. Tomorrow. Yendo en contra de otras personas. In some way to try and defend themselves from an enemy. Para tratar de defenderse a sí mismos de un enemigo. And a tormentor that they cannot see and that they do not understand. Y tratando de ir en contra de este enemigo o persona que los tormenta, que no pueden ni ver y tampoco pueden entender. Often making another person. Y usualmente hacen a una persona. The object of their misdirected wrath and hatred. 
el objeto de su ira y de su odio que estaba realmente mal dirigido. See, this is why it's so important for us to grow in the knowledge and understanding of God's word. Bien, es por eso que es tan importante para nosotros mantenernos en el conocimiento y en el entendimiento de la palabra de Dios. So that we know who the enemy is that we are fighting. Para poder entender quién es el enemigo contra el cual peleamos. And it's a spiritual enemy. Y es un es, eh, enemigo espiritual. And it takes spiritual weapons to defeat him. Y por tanto toma de, de, eh, de cosas espirituales para poderlo vencer. And having the knowledge of God. Y teniendo el conocimiento de Dios. Will give us the confidence to stand against a world. Nos va a dar la confianza para pararnos that has collectively gone insane. Hosea 4.6 My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. Because you have rejected knowledge, I will also reject you. That you shall be no priest to me, seeing thou hast forgotten the law of thy God I will also forget thy children. Oseas 4.6 Mi pueblo fue destruido porque le faltó conocimiento. Por cuanto desechaste el conocimiento, yo te echaré de sacerdocio. Y porque olvidaste la ley de tu Dios, también yo me olvidaré de tus hijos. So this is the reason why people are rejected of God. Esta es la razón por la que eh, la gente es rechazada por Dios. And it's why they live with the fear of death and of evil. Y es la razón por la que la gente vive con miedo y con, eh, con miedo a la muerte y con miedo a la maldad. It's because they have rejected the knowledge of God's word. La gente vive así porque ha rechazado el conocimiento de la palabra de Dios. And then when a spirit of fear comes around them, entonces cuando les llega un espíritu de miedo y, y trata de llegar a ellos they don't know how to handle it no saben cómo manejarlo sometimes it will turn to another person they consider to be a friend a veces que las personas lo que hacen es ir con un amigo o con alguien que consideran un buen amigo to try and receive comfort para tratar de que ese amigo los consuele del miedo some will try and cover up their fear hay muchas personas que tratarán de cubrir su miedo. By building up their natural strength. Al ejercitarse y ponerse en forma. Some buy weapons to protect themselves. Hay personas que compran armas para protegerse a sí mismos. Against the fear of evil. Eh, para protegerse a sí mismos en contra del miedo a la maldad. That is pressing in upon them on every side. So, this is something to think about. Because fear is strong in the earth in our time. And we must learn to live and learn how to resist fear. Y debemos aprender cómo vivir y cómo aprender a resistir el miedo. Revelation 21.8 But the fearful and unbelieving and abominable and murderers and whoremongers and sorcerers and idolaters and all liars shall have their part in the lake which burns with fire and brimstone which is the second death. Apocalipsis 21.8 Pero los cobardes e incrédulos los abominables homicidas, los fornicarios y hechiceros, los idólatras y todos los mentirosos tendrán su parte en el lago que arde con fuego y azufre, que es la muerte segunda. So God's word is clear. Así que la palabra de Dios es muy clara. If we do not deal with the spirit of fear in our lives, si nosotros no lidiamos o no trabajamos para, eh, con este espíritu de miedo que existe en nuestras vidas, we, We will not live eternally with him. Entonces, no podemos vivir eternamente con Dios. Now we're going to see a lot of strange things happen. Vamos a ver varias cosas raras pasar in the days that we're living in. En los días que vivimos. And when we do, we are not to let fear rise up within us. 
Y cuando vemos estas cosas suceder, no debemos de permitir que el miedo se, se levante en nosotros. And when we see people acting strangely, y cuando vemos que gente actúa extraño, or wandering aimlessly, o caminando sin conocimiento, we should not be shocked nor surprised. No debemos de ni tener no nos tiene que impresionar ni nos tiene que sorprender. Only reminded of how important it is. Sino cuando vemos estas cosas, acordarnos de qué tan importante es. For us to have the knowledge and wisdom of God in our lives. Que nosotros tengamos el conocimiento y sabiduría de la palabra de Dios en nuestras palabras, en nuestra vida. So that we understand how to combat a spirit of fear. Para que nosotros aprendemos, aprendamos cómo combatir un espíritu de miedo. And to know the authority that the Lord has given us to put down our enemies. Y también conocer cuál es la autoridad que Dios nos ha dado para poner debajo de nuestros pies a nuestros enemigos. Because our enemy is real. Porque el enemigo es real. And he is bound by an oath of hatred. It's like a lot of hate. Yeah, he's, yeah, he's... He's just um, directed real strongly through a spirit of hatred. Y este enemigo está realmente dirigido a través de un espíritu de odio. To destroy every person that truly worships the Lord. Para destruir a cada persona que verdaderamente adore al Señor. Revelation 12, 4, And the dragon stood before the woman which was ready to be delivered. For to devour her child as soon as it was born. Dice en Apocalipsis 12, 4, y el dragón se paró frente a la mujer que estaba para dar a luz, a fin de devorar a su hijo tan pronto como naciese. So when a person repents of his sin, cuando una persona se arrepiente de su pecado, and accepts the Lord into his life, y acepta al Señor en su vida, right away he has become the enemy of Satan. Cuando alguien hace esto, enseguida se vuelve el enemigo de Satanás. And he then becomes a threat to him to destroy his kingdom of darkness. Porque esta persona se ha vuelto una amenaza que va a destruir su reinado de oscuridad. And he will be marked by Satan. Y va a ser como eh, puesto por Satanás. As someone that must be stopped in some way. Como una persona la cual debe, debe él de detener de alguna manera. Satan knows who his enemies are. Satanás también conoce quiénes son sus enemigos. And he knows that he cannot stand in the light of God's glory. Y Satanás conoce que no se puede parar frente a la gloria de la luz de Dios. And if that, when that glory is functioning fully in God's people. Porque cuando esta gloria funciona completamente en el pueblo de Dios, all of his lies will be exposed. Todas sus mentiras son expuestas. And the time will come for him to be destroyed. Y ha llegado el tiempo para que él sea destruido. So we have to stand against him. Así que debemos de pararnos en contra de él. We have the greater power within us. Nosotros tenemos el poder más grande de And God expects us to believe this. Dios espera que nosotros creamos esto. To serve him with all of our heart. Y que lo sirvamos con todo nuestro corazón. And then to know that there is no power in heaven or earth that can harm us. Y conocer que no hay poder ni en el cielo ni en la tierra que pueda lastimarnos. Psalm 60 verse 11. Give us help from trouble. For vain is the help of man. Salmo 61, danos socorro contra el enemigo porque vana es la ayuda de los hombres. And again in Psalm 108, verse 12, give us help from trouble, for vain is the help of man. Salmo 108, 12, una vez más, danos socorro contra el adversario porque vana es la ayuda del hombre. So God spoke this verse twice. Así que el Señor habló este versículo dos veces. And it's to double the importance of it to us. Y es para darle el doble de importancia para nosotros. That he is our helper. De que él es nuestro ayudador. And that vain is the help of man. Y que van a la ayuda de los hombres. But Satan keeps lying. Pero Satanás podría seguir mintiendo. And because of the fear of evil that is in men's hearts. 
They keep believing his lies. And another lie that Satan speaks to Christians and they believe him. him is the lie that no one can be perfect. And people believe this lie. Y la gente cree esta mentira, because they're afraid that if they accept the truth miedo de que se esta verdad, then their sin will be exposed entonces, su sería and they will not be able to enter into eternal life y entonces, ellos no a la vida but the truth is Pero en realidad, that man's unbelief does not nullify the truth of God's word es que la, la verdad es que la incredulidad de los hombres no va a ser nula la verdad de la palabra de Dios. God's word is still true. La palabra de Dios sigue siendo verdad. And the life of every person y la vida de cada persona will be measured by the standard of the life of Jesus Christ. This is why we want to press into the Lord. Y es por eso que queremos seguir y proseguir en Dios. Doesn't matter what the proud ministers of the counterfeit religious system of man say. No importa que es lo que digan los ministros orgullosos del sistema religioso falso. The truth is. La realidad es. That a person that presses into perfection in Jesus Christ. Una persona que prosigue a la perfección en Jesucristo will find the greatest amount of peace and happiness. Va a encontrar la gran eh, paz y eh, felicidad that anyone on the earth knows. Encontrará eh, más de lo que la gente del mundo conoce. And if perfection was not possible, y si la perfección no fuese algo posible, why then did Jesus command us in Matthew 5, 28, 4, 5, 48 to be perfect? Entonces, ¿por qué es que Jesús lo mandó en Mateo 5, 48, que fuéramos perfectos? He said, be perfect, even as your Father in heaven is perfect. Dice, sean perfectos como vuestro Padre en los cielos sea perfecto. 1 Peter 2.21, For even hereunto were you called, because Christ also suffered for us, leaving us an example, that you should follow his steps. Who did no sin, neither was guile found in his mouth. El cual no hizo pecado, ni se halló engaño en su boca. Who, when he was reviled, reviled not again. When he suffered, he threatened not, but committed himself to him that judges righteously. Quien cuando le maldecía, no respondía con maldición. Cuando padecía, no amenazaba, sino encomendaba la causa que juzga justamente. Second Corinthians 13, 9, For we are glad when we are weak and you are strong, and this also we wish, even your perfection. Segunda de Corintios 13, 9, por lo cual nos gozamos de que seamos nosotros débiles y que vosotros estéis fuertes, y aún oramos por vuestra perfección. And even back in the Old Testament, before Jesus came to earth, y en el Antiguo Testamento, antes de que viniera Jesús, God's commandment to man was to walk before him and be perfect. El mandamiento de Dios para los hombres era que caminaran frente a él perfecto. Genesis 17, 1, and when Abram was 90 years old and nine, the Lord appeared to Abram and said unto him, I am the Almighty God. Walk before me and be thou perfect. Genesis 17, 1, era Abram de edad de 99 años cuando le apareció Jehová y le dijo, Yo soy Dios Todopoderoso, anda delante de mí y sé perfecto. So is Jesus a liar? No, Satan is the liar. No, Satanás es el mentiroso. And we can live a perfect life before the Lord. Nosotros sí podemos vivir una vida perfecta frente al Señor. And God expects us y Dios espera to continue moving forward 
until we come to the place where we are perfect in his eyes. This is what he's waiting for. His church to come into perfection. Ephesians 4.11 And he gave some apostles, some prophets, some evangelists, pastors, and teachers. Verse 12, for the perfecting of the saints, for the work of the ministry, for the edifying of the body of Christ. Till we all come in the unity of the faith and of the knowledge of the Son of God unto a perfect man under the measure of the stature of the fullness of Christ. Hasta que todos lleguemos a la unidad de la fe y del conocimiento del Hijo de Dios, a un varón perfecto a la medida de la estatura de la plenitud de Cristo. So this is why Jesus has not yet returned to judge this wicked world. Y es una de las razones por las cuales Dios no ha regresado a juzgar a este mundo malvado. Because he does not yet have a church in the fullness of his word. And if people give in to a spirit of fear and they continue to believe Satan's lies that tell him that no one can be perfect, God's church then would never come into perfection. And God's word would not be fulfilled. And God would then have to come and smite the earth with a curse. And then no one would be saved. Salvation does not come to man. La salvación no viene a los hombres until after his church has come into perfection. Until after? After, after yeah, until after his church comes into perfection. Hasta que antes su iglesia displaced. Display, displaced tomorrow. After. Displaced. So after. Que después de que su iglesia llega a la perfección. Now a cry rings out from the throne of God and says this in Revelation 12. And this is after the sons of God are taken to the throne of God at the beginning of tribulation. Revelation 12.10 And I heard a loud voice saying in heaven, now is come salvation and strength and the kingdom of our God and the power of his Christ. For the accuser of our brethren is cast down, which accused them before our God day and night. Apocalipsis 12 dice, entonces se oyó una gran voz en el cielo que decía, ahora ha venido la salvación, el poder y el reino de nuestro Dios y la autoridad de su Cristo, porque ha sido lanzado fuera el acusador de nuestros hermanos el que los acusaba delante de nuestro Dios día y noche. And they overcame him by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of their testimony and they loved not their lives unto the death. Apocalipsis 12, 11 y ellos le han vencido por medio de la sangre del Cordero y de la palabra del testimonio de ellos y menospreciaron sus vidas hasta la muerte. This is the kind of people este es el tipo de personas that will come into perfection que llegarán a la perfección and that will cause God's word to be fulfilled. Y que causarán que la palabra de Dios sea hecha plena. See, God has spoken it in his word Dios lo vio en su palabra and he cannot lie. Y Dios no puede mentir. And this people will be found in the earth y este pueblo se ha encontrado en la tierra. People that are willing. Gente que esté dispuesta. To do his word. A hacer su palabra. And people that have no fear of evil. Gente que no tenga miedo a la maldad. 
people that believe beyond the shadow of a doubt Gente que crea sin ninguna duda. that God is going to bring his people into perfection. Que Dios va a traer a su pueblo a la perfección. Why do they believe this? ¿Y por qué es que ellos creerán esto? Because they are ready, willing, and able to serve him with all of their heart. Será porque ellos están listos y están dispuestos y están disponibles para servirlo con todo su corazón. They are people that are willing in the day of God's power. Son personas que están dispuestas en el día del Señor. Psalm 110 verse 3, thy people shall be willing in the day of thy power. In the beauties of holiness from the womb of the morning, thou hast the dew of thy youth. Dice Salmo 103. Tu pueblo se te ofrecerá voluntariamente en el día de tu poder, en la hermosura de la santidad. Desde el seno de la aurora tienes tú el rocío de tu juventud. And we know most assuredly that we are living in the day of God's power. Y sabemos que vivimos en el día del poder de Dios. And he will have children that will believe and keep his word. Y él tendrá hijos que van a creer en su palabra. Psalm 127 verse 3, Lo, children are a heritage of the Lord. And the fruit of the womb is his reward. So who are those children? We are. People that have been baptized in the Holy Ghost and fire. But if we do not press on to fulfill God's word, where do we stand with him? Are we truly one of his children? Jesus Christ is not the minister of sin. We have to resist fear that tells us we can't do this. Debemos de resistir el miedo que nos diga que no podemos hacer las cosas. Because we can do it. Porque nosotros sí podemos. God's word says we can. La palabra dice que podemos. And if God's word says it, we believe it. Y si la palabra lo dice, nosotros lo creemos. Galatians 2.17 But if while we seek to be justified by Christ, we ourselves also are found sinners, is therefore Christ the minister of sin? God forbid. Dice Galatas 2, 17, si buscando ser justificados en Cristo, también nosotros somos fallados pecadores, es por eso Cristo ministro de pecado en ninguna manera. For if I build again the things which I destroyed, I make myself a transgressor. Galatas 2, 18, porque si las cosas que destruí, las mismas, vuelvo a edificar, transgresor me hago. And this is what has happened to most Christians. They're not diligent to be a doer of God's word. And soon after they are saved, they grow discouraged and begin to fear that they cannot live the life that the Bible commands us to. And then, and then they begin to build their life in the world again. And pretty soon they are pretty soon they're worse off than they were when they began their walk with the Lord. And this is clear to see in the testimony of most Christians in our time. They draw back because of a spirit of the fear of evil. <laughs> because they do not believe that they can truly do what God's word tells us to do. See, but that is a person that's weak in faith. God commands us to be strong in faith. Hebrews 10, 38, Now the just shall live by faith, but if any man draw back, my soul shall have no pleasure in him. Hebreos 10, 38, Mas el justo vivirá por fe, y si retrocediere, no agradará mi alma. 
Whenever a person yields his life to a spirit of fear, and puts his trust in man, then he's drawing back from the Lord. Then he needs to repent and get on the path of life again. Now, we need to work on this this fear of evil it, because it operates even in the smallest things of our lives. Now let's just use one thing for an example. If you fear snakes or spiders or mice if you think about it, you're drawing back from the Lord. So we're to resist that fear. God will strengthen your heart. And then when bigger things come against you, you'll be ready to resist the spirit of fear when they come. See, but this is how Satan works his way into people's lives. First, in little things, he causes them to fear and be worried. And then bigger things come and he uses the same spirit of fear to intimidate them. This is how things like this pandemic get started. Through the fear of evil. People believe the lies of the devil that they're going to get sick. And sure enough, they do. And then as the news reports that there is a serious pandemic start to pass around. People begin to fear more. Because they do not understand the authority that God has given us over these things. And instead of rebuking the devil's lies, they believe this evil report and yield themselves to a spirit of fear. And then they've opened the door to their heart and these things come upon them. Luke 10, 19, Behold, I give unto you power to tread on serpents and scorpions and over all the power of the enemy, and nothing shall by any means hurt you. Dice Lucas 10, 19, He aquí os doy potestad de dar serpientes y escorpiones y sobre toda fuerza del enemigo, this is the truth of God's word. But we must resist this spirit of fear for it to operate. And that's why we need knowledge of God's word. And we need to seek him so we understand this. 1 Timothy 1 7 For God has not given us the spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. So if the Lord does not give us the spirit of fear, where does it come from? Well, there's only one other source. And that source is Satan. So God has given us a spirit of power, love, and a sound mind. 
Mas Deus nos dá um espírito de, de poder, de amor e de domínio próprio. And it is high time for Christians to start believing God's word. E é um grande momento para que o povo de Deus empiece a crer no que diz a palavra. Instead of following dead religious doctrines that do not profit them. Uh, can you repeat it? Yeah, instead of following dead religious doctrines. Em vez de seguir a a doutrinas religiosas que estão muertas that do not profit them. Que não lhes são de proveito. Hebrews 10:38 again. Now the just shall live by faith. But if any man draw back, my soul shall have no pleasure in him. But we are not of them who draw back unto perdition, but of them that believe to the saving of the soul. Well, a person of faith does not fear because he's filled with the love of God. Una persona que tiene fe no tiene miedo porque está llena del amor de Dios. First John 4:18 There is no fear in love, but perfect love casts out fear, because fear has torment. He that fears is not made perfect in love. Dice primera de Juan 4:18 En el amor no hay temor, sino que el perfecto amor echa fuera el temor, porque el temor lleva en sí castigo, de donde el que teme no ha sido perfeccionado en el amor. So for the love of God to be able to freely operate in our lives. Entonces, para que el amor de Dios pueda operar libremente en nuestras vidas. We must resist the evil spirits that are trying to enter our lives. Debemos resistir a los espíritus malvados que intentan entrar a nuestra vida. And if we let them in, they will block the Lord from having his way in us. Porque si nosotros permitimos que un espíritu malvado esté en nosotros, estamos bloqueando que Dios no pueda moverse en nuestra vida. But if we resist those things, Pero si nosotros resistimos estas cosas, we turn our focus on our loving God, y ponemos todo nuestro enfoque en nuestro Dios que es un Dios amoroso, then he'll be able to minister his love to us, entonces Dios puede ministrarnos su amor a nosotros. And we will be able to minister that love to others. Nosotros podemos eh, ministrar ese amor a otros. Psalm 127, verse 5, verse 4, as arrows in the hand of a mighty man, so are children of the youth. Dice Salmo 127, 4, como saeta en mano del valiente, así son los hijos salidos en la juventud. We are those children. Y nosotros somos estos hijos. Verse 5, happy is the man that hath his quiver full of them. They shall not be ashamed, but they shall speak with the enemies in the gate. Salmo 127, 5, bienaventurado el hombre que llenó, llenó su alcaba de ellos. No será avergonzado cuando hablare con los enemigos en la puerta. Jesus Christ is the man that has his quiver full of believing children. Es Dios quien tiene, uh, tiene su... That will, that will speak with the enemy in the gate. What gate is this talking about? The gateway of our heart. See, we have the power to accept whatever we want to. Nosotros sí tenemos el poder de aceptar lo que queramos aceptar. We can accept evil or we can accept good. Podemos aceptar cosas malas y podemos aceptar, aceptar cosas buenas. God has given us a free will. Porque Dios nos dio un libre albedrío. But if we accept evil, pero si nosotros aceptamos maldad, we're accepting death into our lives. Estamos aceptando muerte en nuestra vida. If we accept good, We're accepting all the blessings of heaven into our lives. Now, to finish up, I want to go through an example in the Old Testament. About two men that in the face of what looked like insurmountable odds against them. Eh, Some, enemigo, something they can't, they couldn't look like they could overcome. Okay. Uh, they believed God and they had no fear. 
And those men's names were Joshua and Caleb. Now this time Moses had sent out 12 men to go up and spy out the promised land. And when they went up, they encountered giants and great walled cities in that land. And they returned to Moses after this and brought up an evil report of the land. Numbers 13, 25, and they returned from searching the land after 40 days. And they went and came to Moses and to Aaron and to all the congregation of the children of Israel under the wilderness, wilderness of Paran to Kadesh and brought back word unto them and unto all the congregation and showed them the fruit of the land. Números 13, 26, y anduvieron y vinieron a Moisés y a Aarón y a toda la congregación de los hijos de Israel en el desierto de Parán, en Cádiz, y dieron la información a ellos y a toda la congregación y les mostraron el fruto de la tierra. And they told him and said, We came unto the land where you sent us, and surely it flows with milk and honey, and this is the fruit of it. Y les contaron diciendo, nosotros llegamos a la tierra a la cual nos enviaste, la que ciertamente fluye leche y miel, y este es el fruto de ella. So they saw how good this land was. Así que vieron que buena era la tierra prometida. And yet they gave in to a spirit of fear. Y aún así estas personas se dieron a un espíritu de miedo. Verse 28, nevertheless, the people be strong that dwell in the land, and the cities are walled and very great. And moreover, we saw the children of an act there. Now the children of Anak were giants. Verse 29, the Amalekites dwell in the land of the south, and the Hittites and the Jebusites and the Amorites dwell in the mountains, and the Canaanites dwell by the sea and by the coast of Jordan. Amalek habita en el rey, el Eteo y el Luceo y el Amorreo. Habitan en el monte y el Cananeo habita junto al mar y en la ribera del Jordán. So when the spies saw all the fortifications of their enemies. Cuando el pueblo vio las fortificaciones que tenían los enemigos. That lived in the land that God had promised to them. Que vivían en la tierra que Dios les había prometido a ellos. They feared evil. They didn't think they could overcome them. And they imparted that feeling to the rest of the congregation of God's people. But two of the spies that went up brought back a good report. Why? Because they trusted that the Lord that they served was greater than any power of their enemies. And here's, here's what they said in verse 30. And Caleb stilled the people before Moses and said, Let us go up at once and possess it, for we are well able to overcome it. Dice el número 1330. Entonces Caleb hizo callar al pueblo delante de Moisés y dijo, subamos luego y tomemos posesión de ella porque más podemos nosotros que ellos. Well, this is the confession of an overcomer. Esta es la confesión de, una, de un vencedor. A person that believes that a Christian life in the perfection is not too hard. But that believes we are well able to overcome every obstacle that Satan tries to put before us. Numbers 13, 31, but the men that went up with him said, we be not able to go up against the people for they are stronger than we. 
no podremos huir contra aquel pueblo porque es más fuerte que nosotros. This is like Christians that say no one can be perfect. When God set that promised land before us and commanded us to go up and possess it, see, the promised land is the fullness of God's blessings. He does not want to pour out just a few blessings upon us. He wants us to know the fullness of his goodness and of his glory. And we only have two choices. Either believe that or believe the devil's lies. And the devil's lies will lead to destruction. So 10 of the 12 spies pre preferred to believe the lies of the devil instead of the Lord. And they preferred to fear the devil more than they feared the Lord. Numbers 13, 32, and they brought up an evil report of the land which they had searched unto the children of Israel, saying, the land through which we have gone to search it is the land that eats up the inhabitants thereof, and all the people that we saw in it are men of a great stature. Dice Números 32, y hablaron mal entre los hijos de Israel de la tierra que habían reconocido, diciendo, la tierra por donde pasamos para reconocer la tierra que traga sus moradores, y todo el pueblo que vimos en medio de ella son hombres de grande estatura. See, that's the exact same thing that most Christians and their leaders say today. Eso es exactamente lo que la mayoría de los cristianos y los líderes de ellos dicen. The obstacles in the world are too great for anyone ever to hope to come into perfection. Los obstáculos de la vida son algo muy grande como para pensar o esperanzarnos de que alguien pudiera llegar a la perfección. And that is the death and the doubt that most preachers tell their people. Y esta es la muerte y la duda que la mayoría de los predicadores les dicen a sus. And they are not of God when they confess these lies. Numbers 13, 33, and there we saw the giants, the sons of Anak, which come of the giants, and we were in our own sight as grasshoppers, and so were we in their sight. And compared to the spiritual powers and principalities of darkness that rule the world. Men are in size no more than grasshoppers. Locusts. But spiritually a person that refuses, let's see now, let's see. Yeah, but spiritually, a person that refuses to fear these forces that rule the world. But instead believes God's word. That we have a greater power living within us than all the powers and forces of the earth. Dentro de nosotros hay un poder más grande que todas las fuerzas malvadas que existen en la tierra. And we, people like this, will overcome the giants that are ruling the earth. Y gente como esta va a vencer a los gigantes que reinan en la tierra. Just like David. De la misma manera que lo hizo David. When he had no armor upon him. Que no tenía ni siquiera él una armadura. Went up and destroyed the giant Goliath who was covered with armor. And he did it through his faith. Y lo hizo a de su fe. But now through the discouraging report of the ten spies. The children of Israel were ready to make a captain. 
los hijos de Israel están listos para poner un capitán to lead them back into slavery into Egypt. Que los llevara de regreso a la esclavitud de Egipto. And this is just what Christians do today. Y eso es exactamente lo que hacen los cristianos hoy en día. When they choose to believe lying doctrines that uh, of men. Cuando los cristianos deciden creer una doctrina una mentira, una doctrina de mentira de los hombres. So we're to believe the Lord. Así que nosotros debemos de creer en el Señor. Have faith in God. Y tener fe en Dios. Resist the fear of evil. Resistir el miedo que algo malo pase. Do all that we know to please God. Y hacer todo lo que podamos para poder complacer a Dios. And we will come into perfection. Y nosotros sí llegaremos a la perfección. So I'm going to finish up today with three verses in Isaiah chapter 26. Terminaré este mensaje con tres versículos en Isaías. Verse 3, it says, Thou wilt keep him in perfect peace, whose mind is stayed on thee, because he trusts in thee. Dice Isaías 26, 3, Tú guardarás en completa paz aquel cuyo pensamiento en ti persevera, porque en ti ha confiado. Trust in the Lord forever, for in the Lord Jehovah is everlasting strength. Dice en el 4, confiar en Jehová perpetuamente, porque es Jehová el Señor, está la, porque en Jehová el Señor está la fortaleza de los siglos. Amen. Well, everyone have a great day. Así que todos tengan un gran día. And a great week. Y una gran semana también. And we'll talk to you on Wednesday night. Y hablaré con ustedes el miércoles por la